this week? Uh, yeah, no, we've been talking about a lot in the receiver room, in the, on the offense, and really on the team. Just this feel, the fact that we felt so disrespected, and now that we have the momentum, we feel like we kind of have something to kind of bring to this fight. It definitely is an extra incentive, you know, um, to, to go out and win. Brad talked about getting an offensive rhythm, an offensive coordinator. Have you guys felt that recently, feeling like you can get into an offensive rhythm? Uh, yeah, no, I feel like the first half of Michigan State, we were struggling on offense, you know. But in the second half, we definitely started to dial some stuff up, you know, and the play calling started to become a little bit more expansive, and they, they were a little, a little bit more on their toes because we'd given them some stuff that they really weren't ready for, you know. Um, so, yeah, definitely. I feel like since the second half of Michigan State, the offense has shown that. It's going uh, to be able to get in the rhythm. Right? I mean, we talked last, week, last couple weeks about offense going to win a game, and you, you yeah, did it at Michigan yeah, State, going up against the Big Ten West's best defense. Yeah, for sure. It's going to be a lot of confidence going on. Yeah, no, definitely. I feel like uh, the secondary um, and the defense is going to be a little bit comparable to, and Iowa, the one that we play, is going to be a little bit comparable to that of Michigan State. So just being able to kind of do what we did as an offense against them gives us the confidence that we'll be able to do that, and hopefully more against Iowa. What does a off week do for your body? Like, how much different does your body feel right now? Yeah, no, no, definitely. It feels a lot better. Just because, like, last week, we, uh, we didn't really practice hard at all. We, it was a lot more mental stuff, so we had a lot of walkthroughs, and all that stuff, which is like a grind of practice. Um, so have to stay on top of stuff because it can be a blessing and a curse because if you're not doing cardio, if you're not, you know, uh, catching balls for me and kind of sitting in the film room, you know, it can kind of, it can, because things in motion stay in motion. So when you're not in motion, like, it's just, it's hard to kind of get back into motion. So you have to still make sure that you're doing what you need to do in order to kind of sustain what you have going on. Have you noticed defenses playing any differently? I know Michigan State left you one-on-one -on -one a little bit, but do you expect yeah, that moving forward? I, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't even, personally, I really try not to think about that. If anything, that might be something that Rod should probably like to think about, <laughs> just to put like me and other people in positions to be successful so our offense can kind of get into the groove like we're trying to. But yeah, no, shoot. I mean, I, I expect them to, at least. I don't know. We'll see. Thanks. So, Trash, I know. Once again, you can't, you kind of used to be in that position, right? And you've shown you can handle it really well. Yeah. 13.5. That's a sprint. Going underdogs. Yeah. Kind of thing yeah. like that. I think every single game we've played except for Rutgers. And every single game except for Rutgers, we have uh, shown that they didn't know what they were talking about. So, yeah, again, we're just going to have a, a tough week of practice and make sure that, you know, we focus on us and we need to take care of and, you know, go out and expect to win on our Josh, I know bye weeks can come at a good or a bad time. How was this one for you guys? I think it was good. I think it was much needed, especially just because after like becoming bowl eligible for the first time in such a long time, and then having kind of like that that week to really just kind of celebrate it. You know what I mean? Really take it in and really embrace it. Like we are a bowl team now. It's kind of like a new identity that we have settling into that, and then now gears are switched and we're ready to. Um, Take your body with this What's that mean to you, having this team bowl eligible? You coming in, and all of a sudden now they're bowl eligible. Feeling like you're, you know, uh, you know, you know. I mean, you are a big part of of what's happened here with the transition with the other players as well. But just knowing that this team, you know, despite the issues that they've had, not being to a bowl in five years, all of a sudden now being bowl eligible. What uh, pride can you take in that? I think that's huge. You know? I think it's huge. The fact that uh, we were able to kind of overcome, defy the odds. And he just asked me a question. We're just talking about like us being underdogs. We've been underdogs basically, say like five of the last six games that we've played. You know, so just defying the odds and overcoming kind of all the obstacles that we've had to overcome in, in order to give this team a new identity. Thanks, Josh.